ESYS Pro Automated External Defibrillator Tutorial. ESYS Pro is a professional grade automated external defibrillator with EKG visualization and manual operation via touchscreen. In automatic mode, the ESYS acts as a standard automated external defibrillator, which can be used by a single person who has had basic training. Simply position the adhesive pads on the patient and press the only button there is to begin treatment. The ESYS will be able to use an EKG to assess the patient's condition of cardiac arrest, consider the clinical variables, and automatically apply the appropriate shock. When in manual mode, if the user has had the required training, they have only to press the corresponding button on the screen and select the desired charge, up to 270 joules. The ESYS should be used in response to emergencies as a resuscitating device when the victim is unconscious, not breathing. If you're a trained health professional, you'll be able to check the patient's pulse and decide, based on what you find, whether to use the ESYS or some other means of treatment. easier to operate. In automatic mode, just press the only button on the front and follow the voice commands and indicator lights. Analyzing heart rhythm. The interface in manual mode is simple and self-explanatory. Artificial intelligence. Accurate diagnosis of the patient's condition, indicating whether or not to apply the shock. Treatment is not recommended. And preventing accidental use. Two-phase shock, greater efficiency of shock treatment. Automatic function and battery diagnostic. PC connection, connects with a PC to visualize events recorded in the internal memory. The ESYS batteries are rechargeable. Before using this device for the first time, the battery must be charged to full for at least 8 hours. To charge, connect the charger to the port on the side of the device and then to a power source. Warning: This device cannot be operated while connected to a power source. Always check the operational status indicator. The green icon indicates that ESYS is ready for use. The red icon means that there is some sort of operational problem with the device, or that it does not have enough of a charge to operate. Call for emergency assistance before beginning to use the device. If someone is with you, ask them to make the call while you proceed to immediately treat the patient. If the pads are not yet connected to the ESYS, connect them by plugging the connector into the port on the side of the device. Check to see if the patient is unconscious. Call out to them close to their face and see if they react. Check to see if the patient is breathing. Put your ear up to the patient's mouth and nose and try to determine whether they are breathing. At the same time, watch to see if their chest is moving up and down. If the patient is unconscious and not breathing, use the defibrillator. Remove the pads from their packaging 
along with the film that covers the adhesive. Do not apply the pads to clothing. Expose the patient's chest as quickly as possible. If you have to rip any clothes, then do so. Apply the pads to the patient as shown. Firmly maintaining contact between the adhesive and the skin. This allows the electrical current to circulate from one pad to the other, moving through the entire chest. Warning. The presence of excessive hair in the area of contact can render the reading inaccurate. Shaving is called for in this case. Simply press the start button to use in automatic mode. The ESIS will enter into its heart rate analysis mode and will initiate voice commands. Don't touch the patient. Do not move or touch the patient as this will interfere with the process of analysis. Follow the visual and audio instructions. If the need for shock is detected, the shock symbol will blink and the device will prompt the user to press the start button again. Press the start button. And be careful not to touch the patient or the conductive surfaces in contact with them, or else risk receiving a powerful electrical discharge. The shock will be applied. To use in manual mode, after pressing the start button, select the function on the device screen and press the manual button. A message will be displayed confirming the switch in operating modes. Confirm your choice. In manual mode, it will be necessary to select the appropriate charge for the patient using the more or less buttons without the intervention of or instructions from the ESIS Pro. The user will also have control over charging and subsequent shock application. On the ESIS Pro screen, the user will be able to see a BPM rate, EKG curve, CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation rests, as well as the battery charge, and act accordingly. Do not remove the pads from the patient once the shock is done. The ESIS will continue to monitor the patient. Administer CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. The ESIS beeps in order to help establish the right frequency of CPR compression and display the time remaining until the next cycle on the screen. Consult the user manual for more information on CPR. Perform the chest compression and artificial respiration cycle for two minutes. Continue to follow the ESIS instructions until the patient begins to move or the emergency service arrives. When in automatic mode, if the clinical readings indicate that defibrillation is not recommended, the ESIS will say, shock not recommended. Check to see if any involuntary movement has occurred during the period of analysis. If so, begin the process once again. If not, administer CPR cardiopulmonary resuscitation. The ESIS can be used on children who are at least one year old. The following precautions are to be taken when using this device on patients between one and eight years of age. Use child-sized pads found in the Instramed dispenser. Should it not be possible to position the pads at least four centimeters apart, Place one on the child's chest and the other on their back. This applies to patients weighing less than 25 kilograms as well. The ESIS can be connected to a PC, allowing the user to access new features such as visualize, save on external media, or print a list of the last 100 events. Visualize, save on external media, or print EKG activity from the last two hours. Consult the user manual for more information.